This is Dr. Alemi with part two of the videos on measuring severity of illness from claims data. This part will focus on calculating severity of each diagnosis. As mentioned earlier, these uh, procedures are covered by a patent held by George Mason University. Commercial use is, requires licensing. Scientists and students and government employees can use these procedures free of charge if they don't have any commercial applications. Next, we want to randomly select cases to include in our training set. So to do so, we uh, create a query, Cre click on Create, go to Query Design, and add the from the show table, add my data, close, and uh, we want in in this query we want uh, hospital ID, record number, and we want a random number, which is, which we are going to call a random number, and a colon will show how we're going to calculate that. I'm going to right click, and build this. So we want a function called uh, from a built-in function called random. There you have it, RND. So it puts the format here. I'm going to change that to a plus. And here we have to put a number. And the number we want to put there could be any number. So I'm going to choose from my data the record number to go there. And that is the seed for the random number generation. And it generates a number between 0 and 1. So we want to make sure that we want 90% of the data, so we want this to be less than 90, and that will guarantee us that we will have 90% of the data. Uh, we want whether the patient lived or died, we want the length of stay and all the remaining diagnosis. Save you time, I've gone ahead and done the repetition for, uh, 2 through 10. We want to make a the query type we want is to make table query and we want to call it a training set. This is the set that we use to estimate the parameters for each diagnosis. We're ready to run it. This would take about a minute. As you can see, we are ready to post that to the new table called training set. We want to save our work and call it make training set. Next we want to make sure that all diagnoses are in one field. To do so we create a query in query design. We will uh, we add the training set. We want the hospital ID, record number, whether the patient died, length of stay, and diagnosis, the first diagnosis now. Note that we set this equal to diagnosis so that we can append from there on. The first time around we want to make a table so we want a query type that makes the table and we want to call this diagnosis. We are ready to run it. This will also take about a minute. So we are it's pasting the tables in the new table called diagnosis. Now we want to repeat this uh, but this time for diagnosis 2 we should change the table query type to up not to make a table because that will overwrite the old table but to append query and the other thing we want is that we want to make sure that it is not null so under criteria we would say not null so is not null uh, now we are we can do this for diagnosis 2 so we what we are saying is that if diagnosis 2 is present we want to append it to the previous table, so we run. So about uh, 450,000 were ap are appended. We want to repeat this for diagnosis 3, about 300,000 are appended. And we want to keep going and do this for all of the diagnosis from uh, 3 onwards to 10. Uh, I think after 10 there is very few 
cases picked up so we can stop at 10 we want to save this tape query as make uh, diagnosis table in the next step we calculate the average length of stay for each diagnosis you create a new query and the table you want now is for diagnosis recall that the everything all the diagnoses are now into one variable so we can easily calculate the average length of stay we want to calculate the average length of stay for each patient whether they lived or died length of stay and we want to do it for each diagnosis uh, the summation sign gives us the procedure for calculating the average so group by diagnosis group by whether they lived or die and give us the average length of stay it might be instructive to also count the number of cases so that if we have too few cases we can ignore it um, the last point is that some data is missing and therefore we do not want those data in which they uh, during which the null whether the person lived or died was missing the same for uh, length of stay this table shows the result let's save this as the diagnosis severity next step is to standardize severity scores first we have to calculate the minimum and maximum to do that we create a new query um, and we want to fit it diagnosis severity and we want to take the average length of stay calculate the maximum and run this it would take a few min moments the maximum is 271 we want to save that we want to do the same thing but this time uh, calculate the minimum and save this as uh, minimum diagnosis severity now we are ready to create standardized diagnosis severity we start a new query uh, we want uh, diagnosis severity as a table there maximum app diagnosis severity and a minimum diagnosis severity we want the diagnosis we want to add in whether the patient lived or died standardized severity can be calculated in the following fashion I'm right clicking putting it going to build what we want there is open parenthesis we're going to start with uh, the query diagnosis severity and we want the average length of stay and we want to take from that the, uh, the minimum the minimum of average length of stay and close parenthesis and divide this by uh, maximum of average length of stay minus the minimum again and right click here and change the query type to uh, make table query and we want to call it standard severity and run this this will obviously take a few moments based on how much data you have so we are going to paste 3485 rows in that table let's save our work okay and now we can look at the table we have made the standard severity table is right here and you can see that there is a standard severity score ranging from 0 to 1 assigned to each diagnosis and survival or mortality of the patients coming up next is how to use the severity of each diagnosis to calculate the overall severity of a case